Endoscopic sphincterotomy has been a useful method in the removal of common bile duct stones for some time. However, in certain patients, stone removal by endoscopic sphincterotomy is unsuccessful due to challenging access to the bile duct, stone size exceeding the diameter of ampullary orifice, or impacted stones in the bile duct. In the past, such difficult to remove stones were extracted by methods like mechanical lithotripsy, intraductal shockwave lithotripsy, extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, biliary stenting, and chemical dissolution. Biliary sphincterotomy involves making an incision along the ampullary orifice to make it larger. Another method used to enlarge the biliary sphincter opening is balloon sphincteroplasty, which, in spite of being popular in the Orient, is not widely used in the U.S. because of an associated risk of pancreatitis. Recently, there has been a surge towards combining both sphincterotomy and sphincteroplasty. Endoscopic balloon dilation alone is slightly less successful than endoscopic sphincterotomy in stone extraction. However, in a study by Ursos et al., published in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy in 2003, dilation with a large 10 to 20 millimeter balloon after endoscopic sphincterotomy was shown to be a useful alternative technique in patients with difficult to remove bile duct stones. Subsequent studies have echoed these findings using 12 to 15 millimeter and 15 to 18 millimeter diameter balloons. This patient presented with obstructive jaundice secondary to cholodocolithiasis. We began by performing endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, or ERCP, under conscious sedation. We used a wire-guided sphincterotome to cannulate the ampulla. A cholangiogram was obtained. Here you can see a dilated common bile duct and a 12 millimeter common bile duct stone. Then a small sphincterotomy was performed using endocut current. We then used a controlled radial expansion or CRE balloon to perform a biliary sphincteroplasty. We inflated the CRE balloon to 10 millimeters and kept it in position for approximately 30 seconds. On cholangiogram, it can be seen that the common bile duct stone has now descended slightly. After slowly deflating the balloon, it was removed from the ampullary orifice. Here you can see the dark stone at the orifice. Finally, using a balloon sweep, the large common bile duct stone was gently extracted as if to deliver a baby. The most common complication of sphincteroplasty after sphincterotomy is bleeding. In this case, the patient had an uneventful procedure and post-operative course. In summary, there are several situations when sphincterotomy is not sufficient in removing large common bile duct stones. In such situations, it has been our experience that using endoscopic sphincteroplasty after small sphincterotomy is a useful method in the removal of difficult bile duct stones.